In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an off canvas menu using Elementor Pro. An off canvas menu is one that appears or slides in when a button is clicked. It's super slick and pretty easy to do. If you have any questions throughout this video, please leave them in the comments section down below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And we're getting started right now. What we're building today is a simple menu button that your visitors can click on and it opens this off canvas menu that slides in from the side of the website. And it has, in this case, our logo, our menu system, some social sharing widgets, a map, and an X to close. Or your visitors can click anywhere off the menu to close and you can customize all the content in here. Anything you can build in Elementor, you can build into this off canvas menu right here. And as a bonus, if you want to learn how to create a custom login page like this one right here, or a custom register page, like this one right here. I've linked to a video down below and the card up above where you can check out the video where I show you how to do that step by step. So if you wanna add those into your slick new website build, go ahead and do that, check out that video, I'll show you how. And in this video, this is what we're building, this off canvas menu. And right now this whole page is created with Elementor and this is a menu template or a header template with Elementor right here. We are going to turn it off. Currently it's set to display throughout the whole site. We're gonna turn that off. We're gonna create a new template that's gonna have just the menu button. So let's go into our dashboard. Let's go to our Elementor templates and then theme builder. And here we have our main navigation, which is the one we see at the top. I'm gonna to click on edit with Elementor and I'm gonna turn off the display settings so it does not appear all over the website. Click on this little up arrow beside the update button. Click on display conditions, hit the X, save and close. Now if we go back out to the main website, that menu should be gone. It's gonna command click to open a new tab. So the elementary menu is gone. This is kind of a backup created by the theme, which is the Astra theme in my case. And this menu system here is created in the customizer. So this might happen to you. You might disable the elementary menu, but then you have another one pop up that is not the elementary menu. Where do you turn that off? So potentially the problem that you're facing is under appearance and then customize. You're facing the same problem I am under header and then primary menu, we can choose disable menu, publish that, come back out here, refresh, and now that menu is all gone. We still have a little search bar or the search icon. Let's turn that to none. And this is an Astra specific setup as well. Your theme may function differently and you may not even have this backup menu up here. But either way, now it's gone. What Elementor does when it adds a header menu, it disables any other menus that are there. So that's why we had the Elementor one showing at the beginning, not the Astra one. And if we created that menu button, it would just overwrite whatever menu was here as well. But I just wanted to have this clean and like this before I make that menu button. So let's go back into the dashboard and then the theme builder under Elementor templates. I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna close all these boxes. I'm just gonna quickly connect and activate Elementor Pro. Didn't realize I hadn't done that yet. There we go, we're activated. Now back to templates and then theme builder. And let's get rid of that too. Let's click on add new. I'm gonna choose a header. I'm gonna call this uh, nav button, I guess. Create template. Not gonna use a block. I'm going to add a button. It's gonna be a very simple button. Gonna align it to the right. It's going to be Menu, gonna make it medium size. I'm gonna make it small, actually. Gonna add an icon. I don't know what the icon would be called for the mobile menu. It's called a hamburger icon. When I search for hamburger, it shows this. Gonna quickly scroll through here, see if I can find it. And this one's close, align justified. But that's three bar, or sorry, four bars. Usually the hamburger icon for mobile menus is only three bars. And here's one, it's called bars. I guess that's close enough. Insert, looked pretty good to me. Let's add some spacing. It's gonna make this button a different color. I'm gonna make it orange. There we go. I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna publish it. I'm gonna show this on all sites or all pages, the entire site. Save and close, refresh out here. 
and our button is not there. It could be that it is behind the header because this header has negative margin at the top because we wanted to overlay the Elementor menu template. So we have to move the header up using negative margin. So it might be behind there. To test that theory, let's go back into our header menu editor, click on the section options, go to advanced, at a Z index of one, because the default is zero, update that. So this header should be zero. If we add a one to the menu, there's our menu button. When we click on it, it just pops down a little bit. Nothing special happens. We're gonna add the pop-up menu to that in just a second. But first we have to build the pop-up menu. So we're gonna do that right now. Let's go into the dashboard again, exit out of the header editor, under templates, click on pop-ups, click on add new pop-up, I'm going to call this off canvas. Wow. Off canvas menu. Wow. There we go. Create template. We're not going to use a template in this case, so just click on X. And this is the pop up in its default form right here. We're going to change it quite a bit. The first thing we're going to do is under the pop up settings, you get there by going to the little gear icon. We want to make the height fit to screen. If you have it fit to content, it just fits to whatever content you have in there. We want to have it the full height of the screen. We want to move it to the right. We want to change the width to be smaller. You can have it be wide. It depends on what you want to have in there. For my case, it's just going to be an image and a menu, maybe some social widgets. Let's just make it like that. And we're going to have the close button visible. We can turn that off or on. It's a little X up here. We want to have it visible so people, when they click the pop-up, they know they can click the X to close it, even though they could just click out in this area as well. We just want to make sure that they have something they can see to close it. The overlay is this darkened area here. We can either have that on or off. I'm going to turn mine off because I just want the menu to appear. I don't want to have an overlay. I'm going to have an animation for when it enters. So I'm going to have a fade in from the right, just like that, because the menu button is on the right. Wouldn't make sense visually to fade it in from the left. You could fade it in from the top, or sorry, the bottom there, or the top there. That could make sense. That'd be interesting. I'm gonna have it fade in from the right because that makes sense, I think. And you can change the animation speed right here. You can make it fade in really slowly if you want. Let's see how slow that is. I have to change the option, that's very slow but maybe that's just what you need. I'm gonna change it back to 1.2. I think that's a pretty good number. Under the Style tab, you can change some of the design options for the menu. I try to choose contrasting colors, so if my website is mostly white, I'd have a darker color for the background of the menu. If the website's mostly dark, which in our case, it is mostly dark. Well, not really, it's kind of half and half. You choose, if it's mostly dark, a more lighter color. I'm gonna add a background, a grip background gradient. And it's just going to be a simple gray to, wait for it, gray to gray, but a light gray at the bottom. A white even. Kind of looks a little bit like silver. That's all I'm going to do for that. The close button, currently it's right here. You can change the color for it right here. So if you have a dark background, you wouldn't be able to see the X very clearly. So you can change it to the light color if you wanted to. I'm gonna keep mine like this. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just change the background of the X to white. Make it even more apparent. Make it a bit bigger, just so people know it's there. All right, that's good enough. Not gonna mess with anything else for those options. Now I'm gonna add some widgets. I'm gonna start with an image. Drag and drop that right there. I'm gonna add the site logo, which is this, right at the top. I'm gonna add some padding at the top because I don't want that squished right to the top. There we go, that's pretty big. Well, that's pretty good, I mean. Make it a little smaller there. Now we're gonna add a navigation menu. Since you have Elementor Pro, otherwise you wouldn't be able to do this, we have a nav menu as an option. Gonna choose our nav menu, got our primary menu pulled in automatically, gonna make it vertical. I'm gonna change it to not have a pointer. The pointer is when I hover over, had that big underline is the pointer in this case. Set that to none. When I go to style, I'm going to change the hover color from green to whatever this gray is. Let's just choose a gray for the main color. This one right here, let's copy that. Put that in here as the hover color. Now when you hover, 
a little lighter. Let's just make it change a little bit. Now when you hover it slightly lighter, you can make the text bigger. I think that's pretty good. Now we have a menu system in our sidebar. I'm gonna add some social widgets down below that. Social icons, I should say. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna change their colors so they match with the color of the menu system. Let's make them gray. Same gray as the menu. When they hover, it goes a little bit lighter. I think that's pretty good. And you can put whatever you want down below this area. If you wanted to have, for example, a map, you can just pop that in there. And I have a map that shows your business location. Or you could have an opt-in or a contact form or a testimonial, all kinds of things you could put in this sidebar. And once you have that created, which we do now, you click on Publish. We don't want any conditions. Click on Save and Close. And then exit out of here, exit to dashboard, go to our theme builder, edit the header with the button, which is this one here, edit with Elementor, click on the button, under link, choose dynamic, scroll down to actions and choose pop-up, click on the pop-up in the drop-down here. We want it to open pop-up, you can also toggle the pop-up, both work, I'm just gonna keep mine as open, and you have to choose which pop-up you want. Here's the one we want, off canvas menu, and now they're connected. Now you just update, and you come back out here, refresh this page, click on menu, and boom, there's our menu. The X is partly hidden up here. If we're not logged in, let's go to an incognito window, click on menu. Now our X is much more reasonably placed. We have our logo, our menu, our social buttons, our map, and we click on X to close it, or we can just click anywhere we want to close it, and bada bing, bada boom, that's all done. One last thing to consider is how does this look on mobile? Let's find out. Let's exit out of here, let's exit to dashboard, let's go to appearance and customize, and this should be working in here as well. Yeah, we click on there, and it opens the menu. So let's change to tablet view. Click on here, and it does the double hamburger for the menu. We can change that, and for mobile phone, just goes to the width of the screen. I think that's quite nice. Just gotta change that hamburger menu option. So let's exit out of here. Let's go back to our pop-ups. Edit with Elementor. Click on the pencil for this menu. For the mobile drop-down, we wanna have no toggle button. And that should keep it as an open menu like that. Save and close with no conditions. Exit out of here, go back to Customizer. Click on menu, just confirm it still works. Still works as we expect. Go to tablet, click on it. Now we have our full menu. It did take some mobile styling, so we have to adjust the styling in the same spot where we just turned off the mobile option for the, the hamburger menu. Or this even looks fine for this color scheme. Actually looks pretty good. And that's how we can integrate an off-canvas menu into pretty much any website as long as it has Elementor Pro. If you like what you see here and you want to get Elementor Pro, please use the link in the description down below. It's an affiliate link. I get a small commission if you buy through that link. It does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor extends me a small commission for referring you. And that really helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them out there for free on YouTube so you can get better at what you do. So thank you very much if you do buy through that link down there. That's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And next up, you should watch this video right here where I speed test and compare the most popular themes of WordPress right now. So you can pick the fastest one to build a fast website. So check that out. After that, check out this video down here, which shows the 11, I think it's 11, different reasons hackers will hack your site even if you have no traffic. So check out that video as well. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.